Hey, after making, you know, a uh, nine-figure payday, so to speak. And right. um, as for Floyd, you know, it is what it is. It's just, you know, an- another huge check to add to many huge checks that he's collected. But in terms of the actual fight, I mean, I'm not expecting one. But I give Conor McGregor gr- uh, credit. We were talking about this last night on my show. He's the one that called out Floyd. He's the one that went after this, and he got it. So... Yeah. Um, he, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe he can land a punch or two, but um, if, I will say this. If, if, <laughs> if, and I don't think so this, but if Floyd would lose this, Ben, I think oh Floyd would find a way to, to use that money to find the first spaceship to leave this orbit <laughs> and never come back. I Here, mean, come here's on. Here's my thoughts. If he wins this fight, he is going to make it the biggest thing ever because it's going to be number 50. Reportedly, he has already patented and trademarked 50. Right, up. yeah. He's already got shirts. He's already got this stuff. You know, he's boosting it up as high as possible. That's 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 what Floyd does. If he yep. loses this fight, he's immediately going to say, this doesn't count. This is just an expedition. <laughs> that's the first thing that's going to come out of his mouth. Yes, and indeed. But McGregor, he started off as a boxer. It's been a long time, though. You can start off as a boxer, but if you haven't boxed in uh, probably over 10, 15 years, right. it doesn't come. Uh, to me, that's not second nature. And what what is going to make him not want to kick Floyd? I mean, you, you go in a sport where you can kick people. So, right. to me. Well, that's the conspiracy theory out there, Ben. You know, people are just like, okay, after a certain point of him getting his butt knocked around, you know, does he throw a kick to the leg? Does he throw an, uh, an elbow or, you know, take him down real quick just to give the crowd a little something to hoot and holler about? You know, he'll get disqualified and then, you know, pay a quick fine but still get, you know, most of the money. But, I, you know, I really hope that that's not the case. And I don't think anything like that will happen. I, I hope, you know, Connor, you know, he's the one that pushed for this um, and did it on boxing's terms. So I hope he follows boxing's rules and – you know, just get in the ring, do what he can do, and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, appreciate you for coming on. We, we weren't able to work it out the last show, but we definitely did it this show, and it was yeah. amazing. So I appreciate you, Vince, for coming on. Once again, Vince Wright, the sports governor of Minnesota, also a part of the XYWSME team. Find him on Twitter at the Big Smooth one the number one on Twitter and Vince Wright on Facebook. Great guy. Great sports talk. He's my Minnesota sports guy, which I only have one, and that's you. (laughs) Well, thank you, sir. You are definitely my uh, Texas sport guy. Uh, And then uh, you're going to be one of many Atlanta correspondents if you get over that way, my friend. But, hey, you do a great job. I really, really enjoyed listening to your show, Ben. And like the previous guest said, man, you know, I appreciate the work that you put into it. You make my Saturday afternoons a lot more bearable, brother. Cool, cool, man. Appreciate you so much. Have a good one. We'll be we'll be talking about this fight probably in the chat room, I'm sure. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, man. You guys take right. care. Have a good one. Be safe. Bye. All right, bye. All right, that was Vince Wright, sports governor of Minnesota. Always love having him on. We weren't able to make it happen, like we said next last show, but we got it. Got it popping today, so it worked out really well. So, only doing a, a two-hour show today. Uh, normally, it's every other week, so this week, I had to come on and talk about the Warriors. I had to talk about the fight coming up. So, what we're going to do, we're going to play another song here real quick by... It's called by Just Pierre. Uh, it's called Cry. And then we may have a special guest. I'm going to try to see if I can get him on. But uh, let's play this song here. And then right after that, we'll get into the maybe special guest. If not, we will conclude the show. But stay tuned. <laughs> Shut down. 
down in the streets and die Without a reason why Some them terrified Others just keep aside When will my people rise? Why do my people die? It's for a lack of knowledge When will they realize? With some crap out in the streets That ever said be lurking And he plan for keeps Like a lion he seeks For someone to devour But the name of the Lord Is a strong tower, yeah The righteous run in their state Like a deadly game of hide and seek And Jesus is the base So call his name Time of day, yeah. any time of place, it experiences grace. Psalms 91 just eases the troubled mind. The safest place in all the world is in the will of God. But don't fear the terror, your redemption draws nigh. Jesus is coming, wiping every tear from my eyes, so don't cry. Find the killer, no sir. Go look for the killer, you're looking at my face. Go find the man, make me talk, me now, yeah, cool. Go on, no. Go on. How me I go live without my son? Sir, tell me. Tell me you can't live without my son. Love me hard. Man in mirrors back my pain. With his gun drawn, asking me what set I claim. I got a mama that will cry if that thing go bang. See, we can't preach change and then go do the same. White man kill a black, yo, it's time to fight back. But when the black kill a black, where them protesters at? Where them black panthers at? Where them righteous rappers at? To address our habitat and confront our mishaps. Let's review our gun laws so we can keep control. How sway when Cain murdered his brother with a stone? It's not a gun problem, it's a sin problem. Heart problem, hate problem, and only Jesus. Can solve it to quit this tough act. Like we got it all together. We need Jesus more than ever in our daily endeavors. But don't feel the terror, your redemption draws nigh. Jesus is coming, wiping every tear from my eyes. So don't cry. Yeah, yeah. It's bringing justice. Justice for your son. You wipe all our tears. Don't cry. Definitely, that was a deep song. Big L says deep song. Yeah, man, that was... I'm going to recommend... I'm a hip-hop guy. I love listening to all type of hip-hop. But go check out this site. It's called Rapzilla. Rapzilla Rapzilla.com. A lot of the songs that I get, I download them from there. They're free downloads. These are up-and-coming artists that have skill. Uh, now, you're going to have to weed out some of the, of course, mumble rappers and all that kind of stuff, but definitely go check out that website. That's where I get most of the songs from. I think we may have a special guest caller here in a moment. So let me, let's talk about some other things here uh, from the week uh, before we able to do that. So last week I had a guest on the show, Brett Reese. He plays for the Texas Revolution, which is a team that plays in the Champions Football League. And their team won, so they are right now going to the next round. And I want to give a shout-out to him, Brett Reese Jr. for the Texas Revolution. Like I said, uh, they got a game Monday. And if they win that game, then they'll go to the final of the Champions League. And Big L in the chat room says, who is this? I need to download it. So his name is Just Pierre. And Just Pierre is all one word. And the name of the song is called Cry. So if you go on rapzilla.com, there's a option at the top of the toolbar that'll say free MP3s. Go there. You can click on the song and it'll let you download it. As well as the song I played in the intro, uh, it's by Shawan. It's called The Return Freestyle. So, and there's a long list of songs on there. These guys put their songs on there. They submit them. And they're just looking for somebody to honestly, to hear their music. To hear their music and to give people a, a shot or a chance. All right. We got... 
the special guest up on the line. And the special guest is my dad, Benjamin Jr. How's it going? Going pretty good. How you doing, son? Doing good. Doing good. So, and that's my daughter in the background, I believe, probably in my nephew, by the way. But I had to, <laughs> I had to get you on the air to say on the air, happy Father's Day to you. I know it's tomorrow, but happy Father's Day. I appreciate everything that you instilled in me from when I was a, a baby to now. And I had to say that. I had to say it on the air. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm just doing my grandfather duties and at the park and, and having fun with my granddaughter. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you. Um, real quick, you watched the parade. The Warriors went the whole way. So just give me give me a spill how you feel about this Warriors team real quick. Well, uh, I'm excited about uh, what the, the ownership has done uh, as far as putting them together. And uh, we're looking at uh, championships to go in the future. We just have to make some some deals for some signings and and we hope and pray they'll do the right thing and sign Steph Curry to a five-year max deal. And, and I know that the other bench players like Iguodala and Livingston, they'll be willing to make a little sacrifice. And, and we got to keep our enforcer, David West, to hold down the paint and uh, Jaja. So we're excited about what's ahead, and we know that uh, nothing but great things are going to happen for the Warriors as long as we stay intact and, and stay humble and stay unselfish and continue to support one another and this is basically uh the tradition that uh steve kerr has implemented and because of that tradition that unselfish type of play uh we have uh nothing but but great things ahead all right definitely i see it um so we have an interactive chat room on the show and mocha bella she's one of the people in the chat room she says ben you talk like your dad so <laughs> <laughs> I even got my sports talk from you, so I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, happy Father's Day. Enjoy the time with the kids. <laughs> we, we, we love you, too, and and uh, we just thank God for the opportunity to to share with the kids, and, and Dub Nation is growing larger and larger, and and even though we got KD, we're going to we're gonna continue to, to improve on that end as well, and and we're going to, all the haters, we're going to continue to keep them quiet. We're going to shut them up. <laughs> oh, they're quiet right now. They're definitely quiet. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Uh, have a good rest all of the day. Okay, you're welcome. All right, take care. All right, God bless you. Keep up the good work. We enjoy your show, and we know nothing but great things ahead for you. Thank you. Glory to God. Okay, you're welcome. All, all right. right. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Thank you. All, all right. right. Bye-bye. All right, that was my pops, Ben Jr. Had to get him on the show. I had to say happy Father's Day. He is the biggest Warriors fan ever. I mean, he's got shirts from top to bottom, all different types. You know, those shirts that they sell, uh, you know, over there on the, uh, they said it was on the street. You know, he's got those shirts. He's going to probably have the championship shirt and the hat. But that's my dad. And I had to come on, had to get him to call in the show, had to say happy Father's Day. Also, happy Father's Day to all of the fathers in the chat room. Everybody that's listening, happy Father's Day to you guys. We got Michael Bonner in the building. Appreciate you for jumping in. Thank you so much. He says, Steve Kerr didn't create the Warriors. Mark Jackson did. Kerr only inherited the team. I agree with that. To me, on a further point, though, whoever the GM is, whoever was ahead of drafting, did a crazy job with drafting three guys. We all know who I'm going to say, Steph, Clay, and Draymond. So if, if Mark Jackson was involved in that, I don't understand why he's not coaching anymore. But yes, you are correct with that. Steve Kerr did inherit that team. Of course, minus the minus the KD deal. 
Big L says, wow, being your dad is a lifetime Golden State fan. Wow.